Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, it's TPM5 with another NBA trade related video. In this one, I'm going to be talking about the potential of Royce O'Neal being traded to the Cleveland Cavaliers, go through a mock trade just about now, and then yeah, um, break it down for each side and what it, uh, benefits it could bring. So as you guys can see, in this trade, Royce O'Neal will be going to Cleveland in exchange for Shetty Osman, and then two second round draft picks. Uh, one in 2023 through Golden State, and then obviously the other one being held by Cleveland. Uh, the reason I'm making this video is because Chris Fedor of Cleveland, Cleveland.com, uh, in the you know title before subscribers have to pay for additional information, uh, has outlined that the Cleveland Cavaliers have showed interest in the veteran Ford and believe he'd be an ideal fit on the roster. So I guess acquiring him, he's a prototypical 3 and D guy, and a lot of these contenders in the NBA need them and have them. And given the direction of the Brooklyn Nets, a lot of uh, you know sources believe that uh, Royce O'Neal could be had for relatively cheap, which I believe, given that the Nets did trade a first for him, two seconds is actually pretty good value. For the year, he's averaging 9.4 points, five rebounds and four assists, so doing a bit of everything for you, and then shooting 40% from three on just below six attempts per game. Now, when it comes to retaining him for the future, it's something that the Cleveland Cavaliers uh, should be able to do as next year is under contract and only a small portion of it is guaranteed. So worst comes to worst, they can save a bit of money there. So again, adding him to their already first rated defense according to defensive rating would really help them in the playoffs given that, uh, you know, you look at a hole in their roster has been a forward spot. Obviously, you'd want uh, Isaac Okoro to play heavy minutes, but his lack of shooting may hurt them. Now, just quickly touching it from the Nets' perspective, obviously, um, you, you've changed directions. You know, you're starting to, to begin a rebuild of sorts. You get a couple second rounders in uh, to make up for the first round. You did trade to Utah for Royce O'Neal, and obviously, this will be the first of uh, many moves, I think. Obviously, the Brooklyn Nets will need to then sell Crowder. There's no point having him on the roster. And they've also been looking to move Ben Simmons. However, getting in Shetty Osman, whose money for next season, 2023-24, isn't fully guaranteed, could be a good way of adding roster flexibility, as that would save them in total, uh, you know, paying uh, Royce O'Neal, or at least a portion of Royce O'Neal's deal next year so they'll save around at bare minimum two and a half million but those uh, contracts that are only partially guaranteed tend to get fully guaranteed anyway so probably around nine million after it's all said and done this was a quick video don't forget to comment what you guys thoughts Cavs and net fans and also don't forget to like and subscribe and until next time peace out thank you for watching